And now, please welcome your host, Carson Smith. This is so freaking exciting. I'm so thrilled to be doing this. This is my first ever uh, political talk show that I've ever done. Um, I'm excited. I got this camera getting my crotch right away. First shot of the show. Um, that's great. Uh, I want to thank Stop Resisting for being here. This is my house band, Stop Resisting. They're, uh, they're great, and I won't tell you which two of them I'm sleeping with, um, but uh, it's the drummer both times. Uh, okay. First, let me actually tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am originally from Florida. Uh, I actually moved up here uh, to come to school with nothing but the clothes on my back and all of my parents' money for tuition. Um, I just want to start uh, and, and just say something outright before we start the show, a, a confession about me. Um, I am a huge feminist, like a huge feminist. Is anybody out there in the audience? Clap your hands if you're a rapist. <laughs> All right, okay, good. Great, okay, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. They, they are among us. They're hidden. They're mostly hidden, but they're there. All right, so who's ready for the show? You guys ready? <laughs> Texas for a hurricane relief concert uh, of this past week, and there they were finally able to morph into their final form, Obamptimus Prime. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> wherever they go. Uh, model Inez Rao made news as the first transgender woman to be featured in Playboy, which is great. Yes. Woo! And um, as a result, Hugh Hefner's casket has been lowered to half staff. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to local headlines in the Nashville area. Uh, on Monday night, Nashville Mayor Megan Barry announced a new $5.2 billion plan for a new light rail transport system. And the trains will be entirely powered by drunk peddling tourists. <laughs> story of the night. A group of over 2,800 documents referred to as the secret JFK assassination files were released after 54 years since the murder of Dallas. Representatives from the National Archives have been planning the release for a while, but uh, of course Donald Trump is happy to take the credit, tweeting, the so long anticipated release of the hashtag JFK files will take place tomorrow. So interesting. <laughs> Why does he sound like a sarcastic teenage girl in the tweets? Oh, Jenna H's birthday party is tomorrow? So interesting. Also, can someone get him a more high res picture of the American flag for his Twitter cover? I mean, who the fuck is the graphic design artist at the White House? Is it Gary Busey? <laughs> I actually haven't gotten a chance to check out the JFK files, considering I wrote all this material yesterday. So here are the top five things that I think are in the JFK files. Uh, of course, the thing that's always on our mind is uh, the identity of the second gunman. <laughs> uh, woman scorned. Uh, I also think there's footage from Lee Harvey Oswald's lost SNL episode. <laughs> really, really giant. <laughs> It is uh, getting to be Halloween, it's uh, October, and uh, I just wanted to check in with our friends on Capitol Hill and see what our favorite congressmen and women are uh, going to be wearing as costumes. Obviously, uh, Representative Brenda Boyle from uh, Pennsylvania 
Um, he's going to be going this year as a kind of a harder costume to pull off, but um, he's going to manage. He's going to be uh, three kids in a trench coat trying to buy soda pop. <laughs> <laughs> Which is tough, but I think he, I think he can pull it off. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, uh, Tennessee's very own John Duncan. Um, he uh, this year is actually going as a, a man trying to intimidate himself. In the <laughs> 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 